My favorite diorama that I made was this off-road KL64. I like this because I am a huge golf livery collector of off-roads like uh, Land Cruisers and Land Rovers, Jimneys, and Ford Broncos. Hello there, this is Thomas of iCollect. Now today we are featuring an immensely talented fine scale model and diorama artist who has many friends. Now there's also a contest giveaway, details at the end of this video. Let's go meet her now. Hi, I'm Camilla. I create fine scale model and diorama. I started doing miniature dioramas when my boss gave me an opportunity to work on restoring his railway collection. These dioramas mainly represent old American town around like 1930s to 1950s. These towns are showing different trains and locomotives scene. I had made a lot of different themed dioramas. But my favorite scene is off-roads and landscaping. Initially, um, I'm having a hard time doing landscape. Then I met my mentor, Mario Rapinet. He's from Australia. He taught me on how to blend foliages, turfs, and grass to make a re realistic vegetation. He lent me all those techniques from effective painting and weathering of daily items around us. He has taught me on how to look around, be observant on how those things are um, weathered naturally. Now, uh, whenever I go for a walk, my pockets are full of twigs and dried leaves and stones and rocks. In creating um, off-road and landscaping, the first and important thing to do is to consider the season and the topography of this particular area. The most challenging part in making landscape uh, dioramas are first doing the water, making it more realistic as possible. And the second part is I struggled on replicating the vegetation of, of a particular area. So I researched on what are the particular trees, particular plants that are growing in a specific area. So this is my first kit bash diorama. My boss gave it to me. So this is a gas refueling station for boats. This is the main entrance and this is the oil pump, the red one. And here's the uncle, he's the salesperson in this particular shop. The most memorable diorama piece was the one I made for a local film. It was titled Sophia. Doing this project, I learned a lot about how our films done, using CGI effects, using only miniature representations of a particular scene. This is a diorama that is very special to me. I created this diorama in the memory of my late father. So this is actually our house in Manila. So you can see I created a scene wherein my dad is riding his motorbike. So you can see a lot of vendors around because there's a school in front of our house. So there's a lot of uh, like a coconut vendor. This is a soya bean curd vendor, we call it taho. Um, we love it very much in the mornings. I recreated this scene because my dad always sitting in his motorbike in front of our house. And all those vendors are his friends. Thanks to Camilla, she's giving away one of her collectible skill model creations to a lucky subscriber. Now to win this, you should be an existing or new subscriber and comment in the comment section below. All contest details are in the description, please read them. Now we will also announce the winner in the description of this episode, so do check back and good luck. Now this contest is organized by iCollect and not by YouTube. Do show us a like, share the video and subscribe. Now if you would like us to feature you or to collaborate, please get in touch with us via this email address. This is Thomas saying bye for now, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.